All right, this Fab Friday, we're gonna bang out a few uh, panels for this Pro Mod buggy. I've shared this technique before, it's where you place clear tape over the chassis and then you literally outline your panel in a Sharpie and then transfer that over to a piece of sheet metal. After you get your parts cut out, you uh, can fit them onto your chassis. And the way that I like to line everything up is I already have my panel brackets welded on there. Um, I will get the panel as centered as I can. I'll put a factory edge to one side. In this case, I put the factory edge down. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark my holes. When marking the holes on the panel brackets, you're going to need either a fine tip sharpie, or they have like a specific long one, that would be even better. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that process on the passenger side. Once all your holes are marked, it's time to break out the center punch. I like to use a spoiler board, keeps things a little bit tidier and less likely to damage the panel. After we get all the holes drilled, then we test fit. Sometimes you're going to have to add a little clearance to these holes. Uh, but just inevitable happen sometimes. Luckily in this case we did not. So next to get the consistent reveal I like to use a scribe and kind of aim for the center of the tube and uh, make a mark. In my experience doing this, this has been the best way to keep things the most consistent. So I'll do a rough cut slightly larger than I need the panel to be. Um, get them hard mounted and then when I make the scribe marks nothing's gonna move. There's no chance the reveals gonna change You can see the scribe marks here and everything's all on the inside But we're gonna do a little fluff and buff when we're done with this too. So this is a good base Pick up our favorite Empire braces and start getting to work This is just a little extra nonsense. I wanted to Make sure the center tube was exposed on that dash bar, so I did this contour cut. And constantly, between every trim, reset, recheck. And uh, after we've established they're symmetrical and the reveal is perfect, then it's on to the final install. The customer for this build has really expressed wanting an opening hood, so that's what we're going to tackle here, just with a couple of our P-clamps. By stuffing these P-clamps as tight as we can in the corners, that's going to reduce any misalignment when it comes to opening and closing of the hood. Now we know our hole placement, we can center punch it and get it reinstalled. Once it's reinstalled, we're going to go ahead and make sure it functions right, and then we're going to try to center it as best we can. Same scribe process to get that same reveal with our other panels. Big flat hoods are super boring to me, so I'm going to go ahead and add some dimple dies to this. First, we're going to do is mark center, and then after I mark center, I'm going to make uh, kind of like a V. That's just the shape I wanted to go with for this one. They have these mini squares, and these are pretty handy. I use them a lot in the shop just to make sure things are square and symmetrical. Now that we have the parameters for our triangle, we're going to go ahead and put some guidelines in. I just try to pick consistent points that are existing on the hood to make sure that they're the same. So rather than go to that rounded blind corner, I went to the very edge of that hole um, where the hinges are. Not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to the hole spacing here, just made marks that were appealing to my eye. Uh, these happen to be 20 mil apart, and then we go ahead and mark it for center punching. After you get center punch, hit it with some 316 holes and ready for dimple dye. I guess it's important to note, so if you are going to use a dimple dye and you're going for that uh, orbital sander look, B 
be sure to do your fluff and buff before you dimple dye it. Pretty happy with these. This is pretty much the look I was hoping that they would be. Up next, we're going to install our horse grill up front. This will help kind of hide the servo and just add some more depth overall to the build. I'm using some seamer pliers, I believe they're called. You can get these on Amazon or Harvest Grade. They're like 10 bucks ish. I know it's hard to see here, but I'm butted up against the edge of my table and then just folding up. For the mock-up, I just set it under the hood so you guys can get the idea. But uh, when it comes time to final placement, it's going to be below that bumper bar. Got our tab number 11 welded in there for the magnetic hood closure. And for the horse grill, we're going to use some of our Rab Tabs T2. And uh, these are a threaded tab, so I'm going to get these snipped off and trimmed to fit because they're a little bit long for this application, but it's super close. And these are all easy to adjust. Just need to grind off the bottom until it fits perfect. And then we'll get these set up in there. Rebs tabs have made this so much easier of a process. Being able to bolt the tabs up and then fixture your part into place to tack it up, it just saves time and everything seems to fit a lot better and a lot easier. Finally, before weld, just want to check that reveal of that front bumper bar there and make sure it's consistent throughout. 